Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video in the Spigot series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a band GUI plugin. Okay, so we made a lot of progress so far, so I thought we would make some simple example plugin to show off all our new skills. And so I think I'm going to make a plugin. It's going to be called the band GUI plugin. And so essentially, you do a command, it opens up a menu, and then you can choose the player that you want to ban, and then it'll ban them. So very simple but it works with inventories and menus and GUIs and all that fun stuff. So, uh, and banning players. So it allows us to test some of our skills to uh, figure that out. So let's get started here. So group ID, me.cody Simpson, artifact ID, ban GUI, tutorial as well. I call, I'll call mine that. You can call yours whatever you want. And we can do that. Uh, description, um, simple plugin to ban players through um, GUI menu. Authors Illuminati. Okay, cool. Next. Okay, I'm gonna choose where I want it to be. So I'll do uh, tutorials, that's fine. And then I'll give the project file a name. So ban GUI tutorial, tutorial. I'll just copy that and paste it here. There we go, finish, create and new window there we go cool okie dokie so now let's open up this what we got here our project structure and let's get started on what we need to do so the first thing i want to do is go ahead and set up just a simple close this and start making some packages here just to give our project some structure so new package and we'll call it commands so this is where our commands will be new package listener plural uh, new package utils okay that's all we need for this project and uh, okay so let's get started here the first thing I want to do is go ahead and make the command that's where we'll start so new Java class and we'll call it the ban GUI command so when you run this command it'll open up the GUI menu and then that's how you can choose who you want to ban so implements implements command executor and then if you go up here and do alt enter implement methods and it'll implement that for you that's a shortcut to do that in case you're curious so return true and so we'll open this up first thing we want to do like always is do if sender is instance of player then we want to just make sure that a player is running this because a uh, a console cannot open up an inventory obviously um, that'd be weird so we'll call this player p is equal to player sender so we're casting sender into a player Okay, so now we want to open up the menu. So we got to create the menu. So first things first, what we want to display in the menu is a list of all the players that are on the server so that you can choose one of the players and then ban them, right? So we're going to need to get a list of all the players. So we'll store that into an array list. An array list is a simple data structure for storing things. Uh, so array list of players, because we're getting a storing a list of players, obviously, import array list. And then to get all of the online players, we can simply do player or just P rather dot get server dot get online players and that'll return as you can see a collection that extends player for the type so we can simply cast this uh, thing that's returned here into an array list since an array list is a collection so that is perfectly valid so now we have stored a list of all the online players so now we can display them one by one into the menu that we want to create so let's create that menu so it'll be an inventory called band gui uh, import inventory is equal to bucket dot create inventory and the player will be the owner of it so pass np and then we're thinking you know it's a simple plugin we uh we can assume there's not going to be more than 45 players on the server at one time so we'll just do 45 for the size and then for the title of the menu we can do chat color dot blue um player list there we go Okie dokie, so now this is a little tricky. Well, not very tricky, but it's a cool concept. So now we're going to loop through each player within this array list here. And then for each player that we loop through, we want to create an item stack of that player head so that we can click on in the inventory and then, you know, add some uh, add some metadata to that item stack and then put that item stack finally into the GUI, the inventory here. So let's do that. So how can we loop through this array list? Um, it's very simple. All we can Well, there's many ways we can do it. We can just do a simple for loop or we can do a for each loop. So we're just going to do a standard for for loop here. So for int i, int i is equal to zero. 
i is less than list dot size so the player list dot size and then i plus plus so that'll just uh, be a simple for loop that loops through the amount of players in our list that we've created here so now for each player in that list we want to create a new item stack like i said so item stack player head is equal to new item stack make sure you import item stack by it'll do that for you so material dot player head and then there just be one and so this will be a head that the person using the GUI can click on and then it'll open up a secondary inventory menu where you can choose to ban them or not it'll be a confirm menu so if we're gonna need some metadata here so item meta meta is equal to player head dot get item meta and then now let's do meta dot set display name so the name of the the item that we're set doing the head we can just get the uh, the name of the player from our list here so list dot get i for the index from our loop here dot get display name and that'll get the the name of the player and then set it to the name uh the yeah the name of the item that we're creating and so let's also have some lore we'll just display some other random information in our menu just for practice so is equal to new array list and so we'll do lore dot add and what else do we want to display let's do the player's health so chat color dot gold player health chat color dot red and so how do we get the player's health we can simply do list dot get i for the index dot get health health there we go so that'll return a double that we just output into this message here so it'll say player health and then the number so pretty simple so let's display one other thing so chat color dot gold um, xp chat color dot aqua uh, list dot get i dot get xp all right so that'll just display the player's health and their xp amount so that we can just have some other information before we ban them uh so okay and so now that we're done setting all that information on the item we can do meta dot set lower oops set lower lower and then uh the item itself dot set item meta and then the meta and then finally we cannot forget we need to add this new player head to the jane the band gy so add item player head there we go and that'll do everything we need for us and um one thing we cannot forget is that we actually need to open the menu for the player so p dot open inventory and just pass in the inventory band gy and that'll open it for them so again just to reiterate it'll make so first we're getting a list of all the online players into an array list here we're creating the new band gui inventory uh, and then we're looping through each of the players in the list creating an item for each of those It's a head item and then we're gonna add it to the inventory one by one And then so they can they can then click on each of those items to choose which player they want to ban. Okay, pretty simple So now let's go to here and register that command. So get command uh, band UI dot set executor new band UI command There we go. All right, so let's test this out before we continue so let's go here, do commands, band GUI. Let me zoom in for you guys. Band GUI description. Oops. 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 Description opens the band GUI. All right, cool. So now let's run this to compile it for us and it'll put it in our target folder. And so while that's going on, let's open up our test server here. Let's find it where it is. So plugins. And yeah, I'll throw it in here somewhere. Let's get rid of this. We don't need that. Okay, so let's go to our target folder, open in Explorer, go here, steal it from here, copy it, go to our plugins folder on our server, drop it here, and then now we can go to our start file and then start the server for us, and now I'll meet you in the server. All right, I'm on the server now, so let's test it out, so we'll do slash band UI, wait, are we on the right? Okay, we got a problem here. It says null, uh, unhandled exception executing ban GUI. Let's find out where that is. Let's see. So, um, oh, here we go. Uh, class cast exception class collections cannot be cast to java.util array list. Uh, Java util array lists are in module based. Okay. 
So I guess I was wrong about that. So let's go back here and let's figure out how we can do this. Another way we can do this. So I think that um, another way we can do this is if we take this and we just pass it as a constructor to a new array list. So new array list or enter the constructor. I mean, so as you can see, one of the one of the uh, constructor parameters for a new array list is actually a collection that has values that extends player. So we can literally pass it in because this is a thing that has values that extends player. So perfect. So that should work now. So let's rerun this and try it again. Okay, I'm back. So we'll do slash band GUI. And here we go. So it says player list and then it says Cody Simpson player health <laughs> 7.5000095367431 All right. Juicy. <laughs> okay. So it does what we want it to do. We display the name in the player head and then now we need to make it so that when we click that player head, it opens up a confirm menu so that we can choose whether we want to actually ban that player or not. So let's do that now. So to do that, we're going to go to our listeners package and do new Java class. We're going to call this the ban inventory listener. And that's going to implement listener. There we go. And so let's make a new event handler. We'll do public avoid on menu click. So when they click on anything in the menu, it'll trigger this. So inventory click event E. And so first let's get the person who clicked it. So player P is equal to uh, E.get who clicked. So E.get who clicked returns a human entity, um, but we can easily cast that human entity into a player object. First let's import player and then let's cast it like that. And so now we can use the player as we would normally. So first things, uh, first thing we want to do is check to see which inventory they clicked on because they can just click on, this will be triggered when they click on any inventory. So we want to make sure that they clicked on our actual GUI inventory that we just created here. So we need to check the, the title to see if it's called player list. So we'll copy that. And then we'll do if e.getView um, dot get title, the view is really just the inventory, dot equals ignore case, pass that in. If that's true, then that means they're clicking on the inventory that we just opened for them here, uh, here. And so then we can handle it. So we need to figure out what they clicked on first. So if e dot get uh, get current item dot get type. So the current item is the item that they clicked on. So we're going to get the type of that item, aka the material of it. So we're going to see if that material is equal to a player head. We know that they clicked on a player head, and therefore we want to open up that secondary menu. So the question you may ask now is how are we going to know which player that they clicked on just by clicking on a player head. So if we go back to our Benji UI, we can see that we place the name of the player in the display name of the item. So actually all we need to do is get the display name of the item they, that they clicked on and then pass it into the new secondary menu. Uh, that's one way of transferring data across inventories. It's a cool little trick you can do. Um, so to do that, we'll make a new player who to ban and then we'll do, um, so how can we find that display name? So to do that, we'll do e .get current. So we'll do e, so, so to get the display name from the item, we'll do e .get current item, which I told you is how you get the item that they clicked on, dot get display name, or rather we have to do dot get item meta, or get item meta dot get display name, and that'll give you display name, but you need to be very careful because this display name here will include the color um, that the name is displayed in on the uh, on the item so we need to strip the color from it or else it's not really going to match to any known player because player names in minecraft don't have any color obviously so to do that we can do chat color dot strip color pass that in and it'll take all the color and you'll just be left with the text of whatever your whatever string you have so now we'll take the player name which is in this that we just cut and we'll obtain a player from that. So to do that, we can simply do get server or let's do p dot get server, get server dot get player exact and we can pass in the name. So if you like the documentation, I know it's hard to read, but it says get the player with the exact given name case insensitive. So it'll just give you the player object if it matches. Otherwise it'll be null. So it should return the player because um, all of the players listed here are online anyway, so if you click this, it should match to a player and then put it into this object here. 
Realistically, you would want to check to see if this is null or not by doing if who to ban is equal to null um, because in that time the player could have gone offline or something like that. Uh, so that's something you would do in a real situation, but we're just, you know, practicing with the example plugin here, so it doesn't really matter too much. So anyway, now that we have the player object of who we want to ban, we want to open up a confirm menu. So let's try doing that. So we'll do inventory confirm ban menu is equal to new or no, we want to do bucket dot create inventory and the person who owns that will be P the size will be nine and the name will be ban this noob all right there we go so there we go so we got the new inventory here and so now let's add the options for the player that we want to ban or no the options that allow you to choose like whether you want to confirm to ban them or not or go back or whatever stuff like that so we'll simply do we'll make some item stack so item stack ban is equal to new item stack material dot wooden axe one let's create some meta for that so ban meta is equal to ban dot get item meta ban meta dot set display name check color dot dark green ban and then ban dot set item meta ban meta and then finally we can put that into the inventory so confirm ban menu dot set item and we'll put it in the first slot so zero ban there we go so if they click this then it'll actually ban the player that they selected so now I'm just gonna copy the other item so you don't have to see me type it all out you know so we'll just put this here so this will be just uh, in the middle of the menu so you see you can be reminded of the player that you're about to ban so that's why that is there so we'll just change this from ban me so who to ban Got docu display name and we'll call this confirm ban menu. So we're going to put in the fourth slot, which is the middle slot of a nine slot menu. And so we'll do that here. So this last one will be the back button. So our cancel button. So if you don't really want to ban them, you change your mind, you can cancel and go back. So that will be in the last slot. Okay. Nine slots. Eight is the last slot. There we go. So that'll create three items, one in the middle, one in the first one in the last slot. And that'll allow you to confirm whether you want to ban someone or not. Okay. So now we want to actually handle uh, whenever this menu is clicked, the confirm menu. So we'll just make another thing here. So else if e dot get view dot get title dot equals ignore case a chat color dot red ban this noob is what we called it. So if that inventory is clicked, we can handle that. And uh, okay. So how do we want to do this? So now let's do if e dot get current item dot get type if it's equal to the uh, the barrier that means that they want to go back or cancel because as you can see the cancel item is a barrier block or material so material dot barrier if it's that that they clicked on then we just want to uh, go back to the previous menu so to that we can't really do that yet I'll show you how we can achieve that in a second so we'll just leave that blank and then otherwise else if E dot get current item dot get type is equal to the uh, what was it the wooden axe one then we want to actually ban them so wooden axe okay so if it's the wooden axe we want to do uh, well first of all we want to get the name of the person that they they're trying to ban so this will be in the middle uh, head here that's also why we had the middle head uh, there by the way is so that uh, whenever you click this it'll open up the confirm menu but then we're going to lose, you know, who we're actually trying to ban. So if we transfer that name into the new secondary menu, we'll still have, tra we'll keep track of who, we were, who we're trying to ban and we'll put it into a new item. So we can simply grab it as the same way that we did before by going here and doing string uh, name is equal to e dot get clicked inventory item. So we want to get the item in the fourth slot because that's where we put the middle item with the name of the player. As you can see, set display name, who to ban got dot get display name so get item dot get item meta dot get display name and don't forget we also want to strip the color just in case that there is some color on this one so there we go just to be safe and so the, now the name of the player will be set into that string right there and so now we can ban the player by doing p dot get server dot get ban list and uh, so we're going to get the ban list and then inside of this 
you can read the documentation if you want but inside of this we need to provide a type so we want to do we can do ban list dot type dot and then we can say if it's an IP ban or a name ban since we're banning by the name of the player we can do ban list dot type dot name and then we can do add ban and this will ask for a string which is the person we want to ban so the name then we want a reason because I said so when does it expire? We can just leave that as null because it's uh, at nullable, so we can do null. And then finally, the source is the person who banned them, I believe. Um, let me see. So the source is the source of the ban. Null indicates implementation defaults. Actually, I'm not sure what that is then. Um, maybe it is the person who banned them, but it doesn't really say. So we're just going to call it, we'll just leave it null. There we go. So that should ban the player. Um, I'm sure this is foreign to you, but this isn't really a ban tutorial. It's more of a ban GUI tutorial. So if you want more information on this, just look up how to ban someone in a Spigot API. So p.getServer.getBanList, provide the ban type, so the name, add the ban, and then boom. Okay, so after we ban the player, let's just confirm it to the person who's banning them. So p.sendMessage, and we will say something like check color green as a confirmation uh, banned player. Okay, cool. And then uh, that's it for that. And so now the question lies, how can we reopen? How can we reopen the inventory that we had before? So if we go back here, we could simply just copy the code and then put it inside of here. But that'd be a little sloppy. You just don't want to copy code like that. It's better to put it somewhere in a method. Uh, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to make our code a little more organized by going to our utils package and do new Java class we're going to call this ban, ban menu utils, so it stands for utilities. And we can just have a static method for each of these uh, menu openings. So we'll call the first one public static void open ban menu. We're going to pass in, well, all we need is the player that we want to open it for. So that's simple enough. So player P import player. So now we'll go back to here and just steal that, put it there and uh, we're missing something. Oh yeah, so don't put that, wait, hold on. Put that back. We want to copy this whole thing. I made a little mistake, there we go. So copy that whole thing, put it here. So that'll do the exact same thing it did before, except that it's now contained um, a little more modul modularly in a <laughs> static method somewhere else so that we can just call this whenever we want to and pass in the player that we want to open it for. Um, also, if you want to be a little more clean, you can go here and do replace with an enhanced for loop. So that'll just use a for each loop essentially, or enhanced for loop, I guess you would call it. Um, either one, but uh, that'll do that for you. And uh, also, we can now go here and just, just call that. So it'll be band menu utilities dot open band menu. It's a static method, so you can simply do band menu utilities dot open band menu, pass in P. Cool, and then we'll go back here and put that here as well. So ban menu utilities, that open ban menu P. And one final thing is we wanna have another static method for the other menu that we're opening here. So we will go and copy this or steal that and go back here. I'm gonna call this public static void open confirm ban menu player P and then player uh, who to ban. Those will both be passed in. All right, so there we go. So that should do that. Uh, one thing we did forget to do is open it actually, so that's good. So p dot open inventory pass in p just like that. Oh wait, what? Oh, I mean, uh, what is it called? It's called confirm ban menu. So to open up the inventory for the player. Good thing we caught that. And so now we'll just pass everything in. So uh, ban menu tills dot open confirm ban menu pass in p pass in who to ban, and now it'll do all the magic for us. And it's a little more organized now. Everything is uh, more clean in this file here. This file is also much smaller than it was before. We can do code uh, optimize imports, and I'll get rid of all the dirt there. And it's a little more organized for us. And so we'll do that here too. So code optimize imports. It'll fix that for us. Okay, cool. I think that's all we need. One thing we are missing though is that we need to implement or we need to register our listener here. So get so get server dot get plugin manager dot register events uh, new 
and then what's the name of our listener band inventory listener this there we go all right hopefully that's all we need to do if not we'll come back and fix it so let's run this now and see what we get click myself and then we see the confirm menu it says ban this new we got the ban we got the confirm or we got the Cody Simpson 9 and 9 and then we got to go back and uh, one thing we'll see is that if we click this we can move it which is not good that's the only thing that I think we forgot is we need to make it so that it won't let us move stuff we'll do that in a second so we can go back if we want to or we can ban them so click ban and boom I've been banned I didn't kick myself after I banned myself so if I try rejoining it'll not let me it says you are banned from the server reason because I said so that's a perfectly good reason isn't it so now let's go back and change or add that stuff so to make it so that they cannot move items all you have to do is do set cancelled true and now they can no longer move items that's at least hopefully how you do that we'll find out <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and try this again oh yeah I need to unban myself so do slash uh, pardon what's my name let's find out there we go unban myself all right so now I'm back so now we'll do slash band UI click this we cannot move this anymore good awesome so that's how you do all that that's how you make a simple band GUI of course if I had my other account online it would show him inside the band GUI um, so it would just make a it would make a player head for each player that's online the server online in the server um, so it would have me my alt account and any other account that's with me so you can ban any of those and yeah so simple very very simple band GUI plugin hopefully you found this plugin very uh, useful in terms of like practicing your skills that you've learned over these uh, 24 episodes, 23 episodes. Uh, if you liked it, let me know. If you, wanna, if you have ideas for more plugins that you wanna see, just let me know, I'll uh, make that for you. If you have any questions, you can hop in our Discord server. There's a link for that in the description below. You can ask for help in one of our help channels and someone may help you. So you can uh, usually find help if you need help with something, just don't be an idiot, you know? So uh, just <laughs> just explain the, the question you have um, in as much detail as possible and someone will help you probably. Also in the description below, I'll leave a link to all of the code for this episode so you can come back to it at any point, read the code, uh, stare at it if you're not understanding something and I'll have comments around it and everything like that so you can uh, try to, uh, well, you can come back to it at any date and then, you know, uh, remind yourself of a concept if you need to or whatever, anything like that. You can have the code, you can make it even more advanced if you want so you can add stuff onto it do whatever you want with it so that'll be in the description below and uh, one final thing is if you want to support this channel you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month you can cancel at any time and get some cool perks like early access to all of my new videos a cool rank on my discord server and you can just see yourself on the screen like you see right now so if that sounds cool to you maybe think about joining if not then thank you just for watching this video i really appreciate it thank you so much so if you like this video Leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe, and peace.